guys greetings for the day today we are going to discuss how java is platform independent or you can also expect this as explain the overall architecture of java here is the architecture where we'll have a java program which is also called as source code which will be in high level language what is high level language means high level language means the source code will be in human understandable form once after writing the java program we we need to save that program by giving any of the name that we wish by dot java extension once after saving this java program it should undergo compilation here compilation is for error check or mistake check in your program if there exist any mistakes or errors in your program it will display the errors or if there is no any mistakes in your program then the compilation will be successful in other programming languages like c python and all once after the compilation is successful we are going to get machine code but in java once after the compilation is successful we are going to get byte code which is also called as intermediate code what is intermediate code is here intermediate code is something which cannot be understandable by humans nor by the machine as well and thus byte code or intermediate code should be saved with dot class extension here don't worry we need not to do this manually but this will be saved automatically once after getting the byte code or intermediate code as we know machine cannot understand byte code as well so we need to convert this byte code to the machine code for that in java we have jvm which stands for java virtual machine which provides the runtime environment which has java interpreter as well here the java interpreter takes this byte code and it will uh, it will checks line by line for any errors if there exist any errors in the code then it will display the error message or it will give the output in which ever the operating system that you are using hence it is called as platform independent programming language because here you are writing java program and you are running this particular java program on all the operating systems without changing any line of the code hence it is platform independent programming language and let me tell you why it is ora architecture let's take an example that we are writing this java program on windows operating system later you need to run this java program on linux operating system as well at that time you need not to change any line of this code but you can run this code on linux operating system as well and you can expect same output which you got on a uh, windows operating system hence here we are going to write code once and we can run this code on any operating systems hence we call it as read once read anywhere uh, like write once read anywhere architecture so this is all about platform independent and overall architecture of java thank you